In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to build a Claude AI prompt uh, through the Anthropic console. Now, this will be part one of a two-part video. In this one, we're just going to show you how to define the prompts just using the console. And then in the second part, I'm going to show you how we can actually extract these values and use them programmatically. So the mission that we're going to try to solve today is it's going to be that we need to obtain some questions from a customer who is wanting a roll-off dumpster for us or from a company. Um, and if you've ever done this, I've done this a few times, but you can rent a dumpster and you can basically you know, throw all the junk out of your garage into it and they'll come pick it up and take it to the dump for you. Well, if they were to embed this as a, a chat bot into their website, uh, this could be a great way for them to you know, schedule uh, pickups with customers and things of the sort. So what we're gonna do here is we first want to start with defining a system prompt. And as of Claude 2.1, system prompts became a more documented, I should say. They, are, they were actually always present because before 2.1, I used to define system prompts as just that it wasn't a, per se a, uh, a documented feature, we'll call it. Now I'm gonna show, now when I do this, this is, I'm gonna show you how I typically write my prompts. Yes, you will find documentation from Claude themselves on how how they can instruct you to design a prompt. But you'll see as we go through this uh, what we have to do to make it adhere to our rules. So what we're going to sit there and say, I'm gonna, we're going to give it a persona. And we're going to say that you are a meeting scheduler. Oh, and helps if I spell it correctly, which I'm probably going to make a few spelling mistakes. Forgive me. Uh, but you are a meeting scheduler that is used to schedule drop-offs for a roll-off dumpster service. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is that we need to give it a mission. Okay. So the mission is that you will need to obtain answers to the following questions. So we're going to sit there and say, uh, the first one is, uh, what day and time would you like it, uh, would you like the dumpster delivered? We'll copy this. We're going to have another question. Uh, what day and time would you like the dumpster uh, picked, picked up? And we're going to say, for the third one, what size dumpster do you need? Uh, we, of course, need to make that to a question. Uh, 20 yard, 15 yard, 10 yard. Okay. Now, we're going to sit there and say to, we want it to begin when uh, the human says begin. Now the reason I'm, I'm, I'm instructing it in this uh, particular way is you think about it, if this operates as a chat bot, think of somebody coming into the chat and then, and then they want to initiate the chat. So you would do this to sort of mimic that the human wanted to begin. And you'll see that we now have a prompt and then we're going to click run over here. And, and as you'll notice, you know, it's, it's, it's not necessarily hallucinating, but it, as you can see, it's expecting uh, some additional information from us. You're a meeting scheduler, and we'll sit there say, named Amber, that is used to schedule drop-offs for a dumpster business. We'll run this again. And as you see, uh, now it's giving us a more personalized response. And before we get started, if you have a few minutes uh, to go over the details, uh, and then it's asking, you know, what day and time would you like the dumpster? So let's just pretend that the person didn't read the entire message, and they say, uh, uh, I, I, I will say, I have time. I, I have time to 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 do this. And it should give basically an acknowledgement to this sort of message. Okay. 
And as you see, it's actually doing some extra stuff that we didn't expect. It's asking about when they want to be. See, the thing is, it's asking too many questions. Need to, to we're going to say to only the following questions. And we're keeping this sort of limited in scope because we don't want to get too crazy with it off the bat. But they're going to say, what day and time would you like it delivered? So we're going to add this to the conversation. And they're, I'm going to say uh, next uh, Friday at 5 p.m. And we're going to run again. And as you see, it's going through the flow that, you know, that we like, right? Um, but since it's already behaving in the way that we want to so far, we need to now make adjustments to our prompt so that uh, we can use this programmatically. Uh, because most of the time when people use a service like Claude or ChatGPT, they're just using it as, as a simple input output of text. Whereas when you're a developer, well, that's not going to be that easy because you're going to be able to extract this information and then use it for whatever your purpose is. So um, I'm going to tell it to give a, a, a response format that is valid JSON. And then I'm going to tell it the JSON structure that I want it in. And so we're going to want a key of... Uh, we're going to say response. This will be a string. And this is going to be what you say to the human. We're going to have one that's going to be for the question. And this is going to be what the AI is going to ask the, the human, right? And we're going to say now this is what you ask of the human, right? And it's important that, the, that we add these levels of context. That way it, it better understands what we want it to do. And then we're going to need a, uh, we'll say pickup at, we'll call this, we'll just call this a date time. And then we're going to call it, uh, actually let's call, let's call this a deliver at. And then we have a pick up at and then we're also going to need the size of the dumpster right and if we run this again we should get a JSON format and as you see we do it's and it's also adhering to the things that we said the, you know it's issued the response so what it's going to say to the person but then it's going to have what it's going to ask of the person now if you click add to conversation, you're going to see it, it puts the whole JSON, which technically we don't need that. So what you would do programmatically is that you would decode this JSON object. You would extract just the question that you want to uh, and ask next, next, right? We're going to click run. Oh, oh, I need to give them a day and time. So we're going to say uh, next Friday at 5 p.m. Now we're going to click run and we should see some changes to that JSON structure. And as you see, it is saying it is defining a, a deliver at, um, but something uh, you'll see here though is that it says 224 of 2023, which is much earlier in this year because today it's currently December 3rd, 2023. And so the issue here is that because Claude's databases, right, are essentially up to a certain point in time in this year. So the question you're going to say is, well, how do we, you know, how do we, you know, solve that sort of problem? So what we're going to do is that we're going to now say we're going to give it a time reference. We're going to say start on or after. And we're going to, I'm going to put today's date, which is 12. Three, and it's currently 12.33 p.m., right? Now, if I run this again, we should see this, this section here adjust. And there you see it. It did adjust it because the 8th is indeed uh, this coming Friday at 1,700 hours. Now, something I did notice is that it doesn't 
have the pickup at, which we'll, we'll have to experiment with that shortly, but it's not, not that big of a deal right now. So we're going to copy the question. Say when they would like it picked up. And we're going to respond as a human. I'm going to say Monday at 10 a.m. We'll run it again. And we should see that pickup now appear. But as you see here, it's starting to uh, essentially uh, hallucinate because it's not actually uh, following what we have said. So let's see what we can do here to maybe make an adjustment. And actually, out of curiosity, I'm going to run it again just to see if, nope, okay, so that doesn't change things. Okay, so uh, response formats of validation are always respond with, I cannot type, always respond with this. Hopefully that's enough context to make it do with what we want. So let's see, maybe is it the right, maybe we need to do exclamations just to see if that is going to be what pulls it together. We're going to say when responding, always use JSON, nothing else. And let's see if the long form context comes in. And okay, so now we got that working right. So it did say, pick, notice that it did also notice that Monday came after that, that Friday, which is exactly, you know, three days. So now we have this. And so now they're saying, what, what size dumpster do you need? So we're going to, again, add to conversation. We're going to assign that as the response. And then as the human, I'm going to say I need a 20-yard dumpster. And so now we should actually have all the fields with data. And we do. And so how about we add another field up here. And what we're going to say, uh, we're going to add a key of... Uh, we're going to so say, is everything captured? And we're going to say that this is a Boolean default false. Or, and then we're going to say this becomes true when we, we have all the required information. So if we do run this again, we should see this new key value pair come into play. And it says we do. Okay, well, but what we're going to do to confirm this is that we're going to delete all this prior information, and we're actually going to start over. And so this is sort of where we're going to have to test it. But what's important is that everything captured is coming back as false. So the AI is doing exactly what we want it to do. So we're going to now go through the, this again. We just, you know, this is going to take testing. So I'm going to sit there and say, if I say, Friday at, at noon. All right, so Friday at noon. So it's doing that correctly. So I'm going to copy this, put that last question mark. We'll add to conversation. And I'm, I'm going to say Sunday at 6 p.m. And as you see here, now it's gonna now it's asking me as it should for what size dumpster. And again, we're gonna add to conversation, override the system response, and I'm gonna say that I want a 15 yard dumpster. And if everything goes right, that uh, everything captured should now be a true value. Response from closet entry, it might be because you pre-filled the response. Well, no, I answered with what you wanted. I think that this is just Claude having a hiccup. Yeah, that's what it was. So when we get when, when we go to tackle this programmatically, I'll show you how we, you can kind of uh, get over some of these situations. But as of right now, as you see, Claude is obeying the rules that we gave it. You know, it's it's is issuing responses. Now, of course, there's nothing else to, to question here. So how about we give it a, another another rule? 
So we're going to say uh, when you have all the information. Well, actually, we don't we want we don't need to do that because we're, we're actually not going to be asking a question. Where we're just going to issue a response, just like it has here, because it says, "Okay, I have the dumpster scheduled uh, for Friday at noon. Pick up on schedule on Sunday at 6 p.m. Your request of a, a 15 yard dumpster." And but what we can also say is, uh, once you have all the information captured. Uh, Tell them, tell them, you know, we'll say thank you. Uh, you know, you can do stuff like this. So let's see what we get here. You see how it says thank you? Uh, we're just going to say uh, thank you. Uh, we have your d delivery scheduled. Insert. And we're going to sit there and say delivery date or deliver at. So, so it matches. See you soon. And so we're sort of hallucinating again. So let's go ahead and just take this back out. But that could be a challenge for you to, to work on when you want to start, you know, working with these prompts. And that's what, let me challenge you with that. Take what I just took out and try to find a solution and reply in a comment Tell me what you did. And if you found this video useful, useful be sure to follow me, uh, Dalton Cast, and you can also follow me on Twitter slash X at Jordan K. Dalton. Have a good day.